Okay, so this is that same wire I put in the bag, which is because you preserve some things for history. Uh, well, what happened in the 80s? I guess I learned from my father, because I did it with him a ton of times. Um, before they were saying that your wiring is all bad, they would say that you're not, you know, your old clock wiring in the basement had to go away. And they would just go through and they would run new wire, this is what you see in the basement, and they would throw this up into the wall cavity because knob and tube wiring was always spliced in the wall cavity. And they'd walk away and, you know, you'd come in and be like, oh, my house is all new. And it would be all new wiring downstairs. But you notice it doesn't have that, that wire that's not attached to the ground wire. Right. So usually, like, if you go through, when we go through a house and we see that nothing's grounded, we start looking for, did this happen in the house? You know, there was a time when this was perfectly an acceptable practice. Um, and it's not anymore. Um, it's actually a terrible practice. But uh, that's why, that's one reason people go to basements. You know, and they're looking at the wiring and they're right. going, it's all fine. Um, and we go through and go, it's not fine. Well, we know, you know, we train our guys to find out where this stuff was hid. Okay. 